Hey, this is Dennis. It's uh, Tuesday. Waiting on the guy. We're getting ready to go solar with our house. Um, so waiting on the guy. He's going to come and put some thermostats in us. Some special thermostats. So I thought while we're waiting, we might as well get back in the word and look at a few things here. Um, after that, I thought about maybe putting after this video of how to make, um, how I've been making fresh made lemonade juice. And actually, somebody had given us the lemon tree. It's right there at the edge of the yard by the pool, two or three years ago. Now there was about a month ago we had really low temperatures it was in the 20s and you can see where it burnt the top of the little lemon tree but it didn't it didn't hurt the lower parts and uh, so maybe we'll look at showing you how i make lemonade oh sitting at the kitchen table today All right, let's pick up where we left off. We're in Revelations chapter 22. We'll begin with verse 7. And it starts out the very first sentence there, 7. It's all in letters red. This is Jesus talking. And then Jesus will come back. It'll be in the letter of red in 12 and 13 verses and verse 16. Um, so we'll start out here this starts out in letter of red this is Jesus talking behold I come quickly and to me it's, it's not quickly I mean it's been like 2000 something years but I guess with God Jesus and the Holy Ghost 2000 something years is just like a couple days you know it's and the older I get I realize and understand this life does go quickly but jesus says behold i come quickly blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book so he's saying blessed is the one that keeps the sayings and the prophecy of this book of revelation and i john saw these things and heard them and when i heard and seen I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showeth me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant. So the angel, he fell down to worship the angel. And the angel said, You know, don't be doing that because I'm your fellow servant. And of thy brethren... So he's saying, I'm your fellow servant, and I'm a, a brethren of you, the prophets, and of them which keep the saying of this book, worship God. So he's saying at the very end, worship God. And he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust. And still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he is holy, let him be holy still. So, you know, in my thinking, it's like, and if somebody's going to be stupid, just let them be stupid. I mean, you can't fix stupid. And he's saying here, if somebody's going to be filthy, just let them be filthy. I mean, and I'm sure if we can reach out and help change them. And that phone, we get so many different calls here. Let's see who that is. It's Payne Dennis. Let, let me catch this in my life. I'll be back. Hey, I'm back. That was my wife calling. And... Uh, actually looking at here we'll just go ahead and finish that up this up here and it'll this will finish up the book of revelation 
then maybe we'll get over into start looking at Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, one of those, and maybe do something out of the Old Testament. Start with verse 12 here, and this is all letter of red, verse 12 and 13. So this is Jesus talking. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. And to me, one of the big rewards is just being saved, being able to get to live in the kingdom of God. But he's also going to reward the saved ones where, you know, for their talents, for the things they've done here, and for our works. So he goes on and he says, To give every man according to his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. So think about Jesus saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. So if we'll obey the Lord, we'll have the right to eat of the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. To me, that's we get to walk into the New Jerusalem. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters. And whosoever loveth and make it a lie. So if we look at around, life around us, there's a lot of people doing the devil's work. They're sorcerers, whoremongers, just sex, 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 sex. They're just whoremongers. Murderers, people just out killing other people, murdering unborn babies and idolaters, and then liars. Just there's people in life here that is tell a lie in a heartbeat. Now this is verse 16 in the letter read it again. This is Jesus talking. I Jesus have sent mine angel to testify to you these things in the churches so the one that's been talking with john is jesus's angel jesus said i sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches i am the root and the offspring of david and the bright and morning star now, I've always thought about that bright and morning star. I know we see all the stars up in heaven. And to me, Jesus is the, the brightest and the morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, come. And let him that hear say, come. And let him that is a thirst come. So if you're thirsty for Jesus, come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. And um, so if you're thirsty, and we read here about the water of life that flows from the throne of God, just come and get you a drink freely. Verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. And I just want to say this. I'd like to caution all the preachers out there, especially the preachers and some of the Bible instructors. Uh, don't be adding to and taking away from the Word of God. Let me put you on hold and see if that, what Max is barking about. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. Where'd Max go? Oh, he done jumped back on the bed. That was a false alarm. This is Max. What are you doing? Say hello. Say hello to everybody. Yeah.
What have you been doing? He loves it when I lay down in the bed there and take naps with him. I don't know what he was barking about, but let's get back in the water. Anyhow, I'm going to go back over this right here, and I think this is real important. And the Bible is giving us a warning for anybody that's going to add to or take away from this book of Revelations. And to me, any of the Bible, if you're going to add to or take away from the word, God shall add unto him the plagues which are written in this Bible. And if any man takes away, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city. <clears throat> I think that's a very grave warning there. And I'm not judging nobody's salvation, but I've seen some preachers and some Bible instructors, and I have to pray myself a lot. Lord, help me not to add to or take away from your word. Now, I don't know it all, and I don't understand it all, but I'm not going to read it and then try to talk it away and say, oh, God didn't mean that. Uh, so anyhow, I'd just like to caution you preachers and Bible study people out there and even lay people. Don't be adding to or taking away from the Word of God. I know the Bible says we need to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. He which testifies these things saith, and this is in the letter read, Jesus saying, Surely I come quickly. And then after it, it says, Amen. I, I've got to agree with that. Lord, come quickly. Amen. You know, this world is getting crazy. I got where I just, I pretty much quit watching the news. I just watch the weather. It's just too much evil, crazy stuff going on. But I say amen to this too. And, we'll, and this will finish up the book of Revelation that says, Even so, come Lord Jesus. And I concur, even so come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. All right, well, God bless you, and I uh, hope y'all have a good week. And then what I'll do is I need to make some more lemonade, and um, we'll just make a little video, video of that and add it to this. All right. Hey, this is Dennis. I'm back. I'm just going to show you this little Black & Decker uh, lemonade juicer. You can get it at Walmart <clears throat> or a few other places. And it's really cheap. It's only like $19, $18 and something and plus tax. But it's really neat and simple and you can make homemade lemonade juice quick and easy. So all you did do is I put like about 16 ounces of water in here and I try to stay off the sugar I just put it on there it just locks right in there all we're gonna do is just take this plate and put it over the top and then I'm just gonna take six lemons Six different lemons, and I'll show you how quick this goes. Let's cut the lemon. Look how good that is. I mean, it just does it. Good. I just took these out of the bag. I 
pick from my cousin, Sandy McGuire. I'll just pick her some more. To go in there. And this top tray catches just about all the seeds. And I got where I've been drinking a glass of this like every night before I go to bed. I'm sure it's just loaded with vitamin C. And I get a lot of sunshine. I get outdoors and get my vitamin D and get my exercise. And go to the beach, go fishing. I've been doing everything old Fauci and all of them said, don't do that, stay in your house. Be scared, don't go outside, don't go to the beach. I see food as my medicine, and uh, so I'm gonna try to eat good and get some exercise, some sunshine. So I say to heck with Fauci and them. I'm gonna go on living, I'm not gonna live in fear. Just a little bit more and we'll have it. One more lemon to go. That's it. I'll just show you right here. I put about 16 ounces of water, six lemons, and you can see how good of a job. I mean, it just, for 20 bucks, you can't beat this thing. And I'm talking in no time at all, you got some good fresh lemonade juice loaded with vitamin C's and antioxidants. And about six, six lemons, it'll bring it right it up to about 32 ounces. And you can see it catches the seeds there. It's neat. All righty. Well, God bless y'all. You have a good day and a good week. Bye-bye.